This is the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine, so I, I, I'm going to begin to impose sanctions in response. implementing full blocking sanctions on two large Russian financial institutions, VEB and their military bank. We're implementing comprehensive sanctions on Russian sovereign debt. That means we've cut off Russia's government from Western financing. It can no longer raise money from the West and cannot trade in its new debt on our markets or European markets either. Starting tomorrow and continuing in the days ahead, We'll also impose sanctions on Russia's elites and their family members. The UK is sanctioning the following five Russian banks. Rossiya, IS Bank, Gen General Bank, Promzyaz Bank and the Black Sea Bank. And we are sanctioning three very high net worth individuals, Gennady Timchenko, Boris Rottenberg and Igor Rottenberg. Any assets they hold in the UK will be frozen, the individuals concerned will be banned from travelling here. This package of sanctions that has been approved by unanimity by the member states will hurt Russia and it will hurt a lot. Today we have agreed that the 30, 51 members of the Russia State Duma who voted this violation of international law and territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine will be listed in our sanctions list. We will ban Canadians from all financial dealings with the so-called independent states of Luhansk and Donetsk. We will sanction members of the Russian parliament who voted for the illegal decision to recognize these so-called republics. We will ban Canadians from engaging in purchases of Russian sovereign debt. And we will apply additional sanctions on two state-backed Russian banks and prevent any financial dealings with them. Initially, we will impose, impose travel bans and targeted financial sanctions on eight members of the Security Council of the Russian Federation. 
The sanctions will impose strong economic sanctions uh, to, in the regions of Luhansk and Donetsk, targeting the following sectors, transport, energy, telecommunications, oil, gas and mineral reserves.